solutions for quiz four from Matthew 43. Um, we're given some data, the temperature at kickoff, and the amount of points that my 49ers scored in certain games. I'm going to ask a bunch of questions, so we're doing linear regression here. Uh, first question, which of the above variables is the explanatory variable, and which is the response variable? Um, well, the explanatory variable, you, the easiest way to think about it is cause and effect. Right? The temperature outside might cause the 49ers to score less points, but the amount of points the 49ers score is not going to cause the temperature to be colder. Right? They're not going to change the weather. Um, so in other words, the temperature is the cause and the points are the effect. Um, so the temperature is the explanatory variable. Oops. And then the response variable would be points. All right, calculate the least square regression line. Give a brief explanation of what each of the coefficients mean in the context of this problem. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is enter all your data into your calculator. I already went ahead and did that. You go into stat and then edit. I put my x variables, my explanatory variables in L1. And my response variables, the amount of points scored in L2. And then what you do is under the stat menu here, go over to calc. And you do lin reg, which stands for linear regression. Hit enter. Tell it what list your data is in. You always want to tell it your x list first. So my x's were in L1. And I'll hit comma. My y's were in L2. If you had left that off, it defaults to thinking your x is in L1 and your y is in L2 anyways. So didn't have to put in L1, L2. But just in case your data is in a different list, I'll put it in. Hit enter. It spits out all sorts of stuff. Oh. All right. Um, it tells you your least squared regression line. It tells you that y hat is equal to a, 0.158 in this example, x plus b, which is 12.5. Not too picky on rounding. You can round to any amount of decimal places you want. Just make sure you round it correctly up and down. Um, so here's my least squared regression line. This point, well, this 12.5 me it's the y-intercept and basically the y-intercept tells you the predicted y value if x equals zero x is the temperature so this is just saying that if it were zero degrees that kick off I'd expect the 49ers to score what 12 and a half points And then this, my slope, is telling me how much y changes each time x changes by 1. In other words, um, for each increase, for each 1 degree increase in temperature, kickoff temperature, I guess, I expect the Niners to score. Uh, 0.158 more points. Your answers don't have to look identical to this, um, but as long as you're getting the same gist, the same idea here, you're good. Um, you might notice that my calculator didn't give me R and R squared. That's because my diagnostics aren't on. It's an initial default. Yours probably are on, so you probably get more things here. Um, since mine weren't, I'm going to go into the catalog, so I hit second zero. And then if you scroll down to uh, D for diagnostics on, you can actually jump down there a little bit. There it is. Hit enter twice. Now next time I do that linear regression thing, if I go stat, calc, linear regression, and tell it L1 and L2, it'll spit out more information. It'll still give me the same A and B. It just gives me R and R squared. Um, anyway, sketch a, sketch a scatter plot of the data. And in the scatter plot, sketch your least squared regression line. Okay, so what I got to do is I got to tell my calculator what my least squared regression line is. There's a couple ways you can do that. I think the easiest way is kind of the non-clever way. Just copy this equation right here. Hit y equals, go in here, and tell it, I want you to graph 0.158x plus 12.5. There's more clever ways you can copy your least squared regression line directly in here, but I feel like learning how to do it is more complicated than just typing this in right here. So I'm going to call that good. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to sketch this line on a scatter plot. To make a scatter plot, you go under stat plot. So hit second y equals. And then under my first one, turn it on. And select the type 
that looks like a scatter plot, this first one. My x values are still in L1, my y's are still in L2, put whatever the hell you want from mark, and then uh, graph this thing. If you just take graph, it'll use the default window. I'm instead going to do zoom stat and let it adjust the window for the statistics problem that's going on. There it is. So what it's giving me is a scatter plot. I'll try my best to copy what that thing has. Um, all right. Um, and you can either use this for this specific example. It might have been easier to just make this one by hand, but you can do whatever you want. Um, here's negative 10 degrees, 10 degrees, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We don't have any data points over 100, do we? No, it goes up to 95 degrees. And points go from 13 to 28. So you could start at 10 here. I think that's kind of what this picture did. Um, or since that's close enough to zero, you could just make it zero. Really, it's up to you. Whatever. 10, 20, 30. I'll call that good. You can do other things for your scatter plot. I don't really care. And then plot all these points. Negative 5, 13. So here's negative 5. Here's approximately 13. Um, 20, 17, 20, 17. Instead of going back to the data, I could be looking over here, right? Here's the 2017. Anyways, um, 32, 14. There's 32. There's 14. And then continue in this fashion. Can I get it all on one page? No. 55, 20. 50, 55, 20. Something like that. 60, 21. 60, 21. 62, 24, 62, 24, sure, something like that. 64, 23, 64, 23, what was that last one I just did was 24, sure, something like that. And then finally, two more, 88, 28, so here's 190, 88, 28, and then 95, 27. 95, 27. Um, and note that the least squared regression line, it kind of goes through all the data. Um, it's got a y-intercept of 12 and a half. So in my picture, maybe I'll do it in another color. 12 and a half is somewhere in here. And then it's got a slope of 0.158. So every time it goes up by, every time it goes over by one, it goes up by 0.158. So every time it goes over 100, it goes up by 15.8. So what I'm saying is when I'm at 100 here, the height should be 12.5 plus 15.8, which is 28.3, I think. If I can add those up, I think that's right. No, it's not. I'm not even close. Try that again. 15.8 plus 12.5. 28.3, is that what I said? I don't know what I said. Anyways, the answer is 28.3, meaning it should go through a line something like this. And I'll try my best to connect those with the straight line. I will most likely fail to draw a straight line because drawing straight lines on this computer is really hard. That's not bad. I've done worse. There you go. There's your least squared regression line. If you have something that looks anything like that, you're good. All right, number four says, suppose the 49ers, in the 49ers next game, it was 10 degrees of kickoff and they scored 17 points. Calculate the residual. What you need to know about the residual is it's the actual value, what actually happened, minus the observed value. No, that's not true. It's the actual, actual value minus the predicted value. And we can figure out the predicted value by taking this x and putting it into my least squared equation. So I take 0.158, multiply it by 10, and then add, what was it, 12 and a half? So this is 1.58 plus 12.5, which is equal to 1314.08. So let's see. They actually scored 17 points. I predicted them to score 14.08 points. So my residual is 2.92 points. In other words, they scored 2.92 points more than I expected them to score based on how cold it was. Doesn't ask for any interpretation, so I guess that's the end of that one.
weird that that's spaced that way. Uh, number five, calculate both the correlation coefficient, which is R, and the coefficient of determination, which is R squared, and explain and talk about them a little bit. Well, it turns out I've already done that. Those were in the output of my linear regression. R is equal to 0.945, and R squared is equal to 0.893. And what that tells you is that scatterplot shows strong positive correlation or association. And it's linear, but I'll put that parenthetically because if you leave that out, that's fine. Scatter, scatterplot shows strong positive correlation slash association. Either of those words are fine. R squared equals 0.893. What that tells you is 89.3% of the variance in points scored is explained by temperature. There's a lot of different things, a lot of different factors that will determine how many points the 49ers score. But based solely on this data we're looking at, uh, most of it, almost 90% of it, is explained by how cold it is. All right. I guess that's it. Um, so that is the end of this quiz.